Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are having one very interesting radical equation problem. It is square root of log, square root of log, square root of log root x equal to 1. x belongs to real number. x cannot be equal to 0 and 1. So let's get started by considering our first step. It is squaring both sides. So I will cancel this first square root and the power 2. So equation will become log of square root, log of square root, log of square root x. And right hand side I will write 1 square which is 1. Now in this problem the basis it is not mentioned. So each base is 10 here. Now I can write one property. It is log 10 with base 10. This value is always 1. So in this place, right hand side, let me write log 10. Base is 10 everywhere. Log square root of log square root of log root x. Now I will write one property. If log a equal to log b, conclusion is a should be equal to b. So in LHS this is a, in RHS this is b. So I will write from here a equal to b. So let us write square root log, square root log root x equal to 10. Now 10 is a square root of 100. Again, a square root something equal to a square root 100. So I will write radicand should be equal to each other. So let me write that property square root a equal to square root b. Conclusion is a must be equal to b. Now which value we will consider a? So this is our a value log of square root log root x. And this value is b. So I will write, let me write here, log of square root, log of square root x equal to 100. Now I will use one property from log or exponents. I will put base 10 both sides. So we know the property 10 raised to the power log a suppose with base 10 it is always equal to a. So left hand side this is our a. So I will write a square root log root x and right hand side it is 10 raised to the power 100. Now I will take a squaring both sides. Squaring this side also. Now I can cancel these two square root and square. So log square root x is left. And right hand side it is 10 raised to the power 100 whole power 2. Now I will write another property of exponent a power b whole power c. Any time we can write a power b times c. So right hand side I will write 10 raised to the power 10 times 2 which is equal to 10 raised to the power 200. Now I can consider 200 or I can write this as 10 raised to the power 2 whole power 10 swapping in the powers means property of a power c whole power b. So I can write from here 100 power 100 it is. So left hand side is log root x. Right hand side is 100 power 100. Let's put base 10 both sides once again. So I will write 10 raised to the power log root x equal to 10 raised to the power 100 power 100. Now left hand side I will write using property base is 10 so I can write root x and right hand side it would be 10 power 100 power 100. 
now i will take the squaring very last time to get our x value the squaring the squaring the square root and the square will be over x will come out 10 raised to the power 100 power 100 whole power 2 now a power b whole power c it is a power b times c so let's multiply i can write 10 power 2 times 100 power 100 so 10 power 2 it is 100 so i will write our answer 100 power 100 power 100 this is our final and correct answer now i will check whether this value is correct or not let's check so let's verify or let's check answer is x is equal to 100 par 100 par 100 and let me write our lhs so i will be writing square root log square root log square root log root x and right hand side we will check whether it is 1 or not now i will consider log root x is equal to a so let us calculate a separately log root x root x means x power half now one property of log log a power b we will take this b out so it will become b log a so i will write half log x now let us put the value of x so i will write half log x is 100 par 100 par 100 so i will take this exponent as a multiplier using the same property so i can write it is 100 par 100 by 2 log 100 now log 100 is log 10 square 100 par 100 over 2 and this is log 10 square now this 2 will come as a multiplier so i will write 100 par 100 and then i can write 2 log 10 and divided by 2 so this 2 and 2 will be cancelled out and log 10 is 1 so our final value is 100 par 100 now i have to put over here here so i will write a square root log a square root log a square root a and a is 100 par 100 let's write i will write a square root log a square root log a square root log a and this a value is 100 par 100 now as log root x was a so we have to calculate square root log you can check from here also square root log square root a and we have calculated a 100 par 100 now same thing i will apply for very last time i will write square root log a par half it is again with the same property this power will come as a multiplier so i will write log and then i will be writing square root 1 by 2 log a let's put the value of a 100 par 100 so i can write square root log square root half log 100 par 100 with log property this power 100 will come as a multiplier so i will write log square root half 100 times log 100 will be 2 so let me write directly this value so this 2 and 2 we will cancel now what is left now i will be having square root log square root 100 now square root 100 is 10 so square root log 
now we know that log 10 with base 10 is 1 so it is e square root 1 equal to 1 which is our rhs i hope friends this video will be somewhere meaningful to you do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself bye bye